What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slab Train, and welcome, guys, to a review of the TX Thrustmaster Racing Wheel, the 458 Italia Edition. Now, I did an unboxing on this a little bit while ago, and since then, I have really put in the work on this wheel. Now, a little bit of background with this. Um, I've had a couple different wheels already. I've had the Fanatic wheel. I've also had, you know, the basic Microsoft wheel. And now I've had the TX Racing Wheel. And I have to say, since the time that I've been using this wheel, this is by far one of the greatest wheels to purchase on Xbox One or the PC as well, too. Now, this wheel, um, I've had it now for probably about, I'd say, three months or so. And this wheel has gotten work put into it. Almost daily use on this thing. And I mean, back when I decided to get one of these guys, it tailored to me for a couple different reasons. Now, one, it was very, very easy to mount pretty much anywhere. As long as you had a table or desk, you can mount it anywhere you like. Now, another big thing for me was the detachable wheel. Now, we're going to get into a little bit more in a second, but let's get to the facts of this wheel. Now, one, this wheel has 900 degrees of rotation, brushless industrial motor system, and it's ultra quiet as well, too. I mean, you can use this thing with your parents and in the next room, and they're not even going to hear this. Now it's also ecosystem ready and what that means is that all of the extra pieces that are coming out, the T3PA pedals, the shifter, the GTE add-on, all of that is going to be ready to use on this TX racing wheel. So anything that you buy later you'll be able to use on this wheel which is absolutely amazing. Now this wheel does come with a price tag of $399. And a lot of you guys may be thinking that's a little bit high, but you gotta understand this is next gen, this is Xbox One, you gotta pay for the good stuff. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I am very happy with my purchase with Thrustmaster. This wheel has held up to everything that I have thrown at it, including drifting. Now I know a lot of you guys pick up wheels for drifting, that's also what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Now the wheel itself, the shape of the wheel you may think is not ideal for drifting, I honestly love the shape of this wheel. Now I used this wheel for probably about three months before I picked up my GTE add-on and I was in love with that wheel rim. Um, I still use it today, I still switch back and forth between them because I never know what to use man. I love using them both and this wheel though is very nice, it's very clean, it's very very detailed on the button system. And for all you drifters out there, that B button is at a perfect position for your thumb for the e-brake and I know a lot of guys drift with this wheel and I'm saying this because a lot of people go out looking for wheels because they love drifting or they love circuit racing so that B button is very very nice on your thumb you're actually watching some footage of me drifting right now um, on a different track at the moment but just to showcase you know the strength of the wheel this is at about 97 force feedback closer to 100 and this wheel absolutely feels amazing in your hands I mean all the way down to the corners to the bumps you feel every little bump and pebble on the damn road man it's crazy and you know for me drifting on this wheel it feels so much better than the fanatic wheel and, i mean everything down from the grip of the wheel to the actual paddle shifters themselves you know all the way down to the base of the product and i mean really thrustmaster did a great job on this including the mounting bracket i mean the mounting bracket is so easy all you need to do is just clamp it on screw it in and you're good to go and that's really how simple that they've made this product and I mean this is one of the reasons why as I said I purchased this was because of the detachable rim very simple you put your wheel on you screw it in and it's as easy as that and I mean like I said I take it on and off daily very simple to do you have one screw and that is really about it on there um, another thing as well too as I said the pedals on this really are nice and I mean they have a really nice feel on the pedals um, you know the gas and the brake are very nice they're not too tense but they're not too soft at the same time the brake pedal in particular feels really nice especially when you are driving with ABS off and also as you guys can see the brake pedal is nice and big you know sometimes the brake pedals aren't as big and that pedal can actually be taken off and put on the T3PA pedals as well too. So if you guys are going to be thinking about investing in those, which I highly recommend, reason being is that you can actually swap the clutch for your e-brake. Now I'm going to get into that later with another review for the T3PA pedal, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But definitely big things with those pedals. And you know, Thrustmaster really did come out with a solid product for the Xbox One. And really, I mean... This is the first time that they've ever done a force feedback motor for Microsoft. And 
and you know they nailed it this time they really did especially with the fact for a lot of the drifters that was my biggest concern you know i wasn't sure on how the wheel would really react with drifting uh me personally that is you know usually what i do on forza motorsport 5 and you know it feels absolutely incredible it's definitely up my game 110 percent and i mean i'd have to say you know probably the best thing about this wheel by far would be you know the ability to upgrade at any time i mean yes you have the 405a wheel yes you have the actual pedals and that could do you no problem i i ran those for about four or five months but when you start getting into the other products that they're bringing out the t3pa pedals you know the gte rim all those other stuff even if you're an f1 fan the f1 wheel is absolutely phenomenal you know they're they're pretty much lifelike they're weighted really nice as well too and it's very simple to interchange the products i mean right here i have the gte rim on here takes no more than two seconds to throw the rim on and it's there it's good to go it's ready to go and it's that simple you know they're not too expensive Obviously, you're paying for what you get with the base package with that 399, and that's you, really you're paying for your, you know, your base motor and your rim. And then once you do that, you know, then you can start expanding on. And you know, a lot of people would say, you know, I'll I'll wait till the GTE rim comes out with that package. But honestly, the 405A wheel is absolutely phenomenal to use. I mean, it has a really nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. The GTE rim is a little bit heavier than that, and I will be getting into a review with that as well too. So. My overall pros with the wheel, um, I would definitely say it's a quiet system. Um, you know, the force feedback is very strong. So strong, in fact, that, you know, when I had it on just my desk, it was to the point where I couldn't even run 100. It was so strong, it, you know, if, say if I had a glass on, on my table, it would be, you know, shaking the water in the cup. So I'd have to turn it down. But when you're able to use this wheel on, you know, like a wheel stand pro or anything like that, that's when you get to, you know, showcase the power of that wheel and run that full at 100 force feedback and it's very nice um you know the interchangeable with the wheels as as you can see right there very very simple to interchange them very quick as well too saves you time um the entire buttons on the 405a wheel is very very easy to see and that is a big thing for a lot of people you know the actual buttons on those wheels are very tough to find especially when you are driving i've never really had an issue with finding the buttons at any point in time while i'm racing so that is very nice as well too the paddle shifters, you know, they have really nice, um, satisfying clicks to them, especially when you are, you know, in the heat of a race, man, it feels nice to really hear those shifting points go in, and, you know, they did a great job on that. You also have buttons on the back of the wheel if you're not, you know, say if you're scrolling through your cars or anything like that, you don't have to continuously hear the annoying clicking noise, so that is nice as well, too. As for the other pros with the wheel, as I said, the pedals feel really nice massive brake pedal on there so you're not slipping off the pedals a lot of them come with you know smaller pedals so that's very nice to see a nice big brake pedal very stable pedals as well too you know you have lots of sticky pads on the bottom the pedals rarely slip out and if they do you know you can reinforce those whatever you need be um, as well too, the durability with the wheel as I said I've used the wheel for probably a good you know three to four months now daily use on that and it is yet to you know fail me I have I've ran it every night 900 degrees of rotation on that thing and you know it's been stable it's been sturdy as it was came out of the box so i mean as i said those brushless motors definitely do come into play um they really do showcase you know the power of those and you know thrustmaster did a great job putting those in there and just really you know overall package amazing amazing deal for 399 and if you guys have xbox one or even want it for the pc I would definitely highly recommend picking it up. As I said, it's not much compared to what wheels are really going for. You know, if you look around, it's a fair price for those solid wheels that do support, you know, the clutch, gas, and brake, the six-speed shifter, and all those other things. So, and really, I mean, it's an investment. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be lots of games coming out for Xbox One. Horizon 2, you know, we got... The crew, we got all those games that will be supporting, you know, the use of a force feedback wheel. So there's a lot of different possibilities that are going to be coming out for a lot of these racing games. So there's no better feeling than hopping on Forza 5 with a full wheel set up and, you know, running the Nordschleife, headphones on, music blasting. There is no better way to spend the night. I'm telling you that right now and you cannot say no until you've tried it, guys. Now, I don't have too many cons for the wheel, really. I mean, as I said, I've been using this wheel for quite some time. I'm loving it. Um, I definitely wouldn't be going with anybody else at this point in time. 
but the only thing that I would say would be the weight of the 458 rim. You know, it feels great in your hands, it really does, but I feel like the wheel could have had maybe, you know, one to two extra pounds on there to really weight it just a little bit more, but, you know, when you are running 100 force feedback, you barely even notice it when you're driving, so it's not that big of a deal, and really that's... That's my only problem with the wheel, man. I mean, for 400 bucks, you're getting a solid package with that. And really, I'm, I couldn't be happier. Um, you know, as I said, I had Fanatics wheel for a long time. I had the full setup on there. And, you know, yes, it was nice. But once you go over to the new brushless motors and all that, it's, it's a, a step over Fanatic. And really, they have outdone themselves with this TX Thrustmaster racing wheel on here. The 458 replica rim add-on and you know being able to add on different rims at any point in time is huge it really is um so i mean other than that guys i mean if you have any questions at all about the rim about the wheel about the pedals make sure you guys leave them in the comment section below um you know i upload almost daily content of forza using these wheels and all the footage that you guys were watching today was actually done with the use of the wheels now I hope that this video maybe changed your mind about getting a racing wheel and if it did make sure you guys send me a message if you guys do end up getting one I'd love to race with you guys I'd love to drift with you guys and my final review for the wheel would have to be a solid 10 out of 10 there's really nothing wrong with this wheel they're giving you extra add-ons later in time you know they gave you a solid standalone product 900 degree wheel detachable wheel rim what more can you guys ask for you know what I'm saying so Thank you guys very much for coming around for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this review, make sure you guys slap that like button and do not forget to come on back for more reviews like this with other products that we're going to be doing later in the week. So thank you guys very much for watching today. And if you guys do want to pick up your own Thrustmaster wheel, all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you right to the website where you guys can then pick up your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Jabuta Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Who's rocking the club on the drop?